hang on, I'm coming down. Oh, quick. Hurry up, Snowy. All right, I've got to go slow. I don't want to break my ankle as well, do I? And then we're never going to get out of here. Just what have you been doing, though, Seth? Let me take a look at it. Does that hurt? Ah, yes, it does hurt. Right, well, I don't think you've broken it, but I'm not 100% sure, but you need to get this checked out. So I'm going to have to phone an ambulance now. Do you think you're going to be able to get out of here if I help you? Well, I think so. You may have to help me up the ladder, though. Well, obviously, but I will. Um, oh, great. I've got no signal down here, so I'm going to have to go back up the top and phone an ambulance. But when I come back, you're going to have to do some explaining, Seth, because look at this. What has happened in here? Just, well, I was going to say don't go anywhere, but you haven't got much choice. Right, I'll be back in a second. Right, the ambulance is on its way. Can you sit upright a little bit more like that? That's better. Um, so what's been going on, Seth? I mean, is that dynamite? I know I heard an explosion. You're using dynamite. Well, that, how dangerous is that? I mean, you could have been killed. I know. Um, last time didn't go so well either. What do you mean, last time? What do you keep on going around using dynamite regularly? No, this is only the second time I've used the dynamite. So what happened the first time then? Well, you see this finger. What finger? Exactly, there's none there. It got blown off. It didn't go so well, like I said. So, but what is going on? Why are you using dynamite? Look over there. Where? Over there. See you next to my lantern, which is oddly still intact and still stood upright, but look, next to it. Is that gold? Exactly. You know that map you saw down at my place? Well, that's all sort of rumoured locations of gold that has either been lost, hidden, or undiscovered. Um, I've been on a few of these, about 20 times I've been around trying to look, not all of them are there, there's a few dead ends, but I had a good feeling about this one, but I couldn't reach it, so I had to get the dynamite out. Yeah, but Seth, <sighs> dynamite, like I said, you could have been killed. Well, I know, but <sighs> I can't leave that there now. Well, you're going to have to get hold of that for me and take it back to your place or my place, but keep it somewhere safe. Just make sure no one else sees it. As soon as I'm gone in the ambulance, take it, please, Snowy. I'll give you a cut of it, but please, please get hold of it. Well, okay. But honestly, Seth, this, you, you can't be going around doing dynamite all the time it's just dangerous Some, someone's going to get killed if it's not you it's going to be someone else I mean all of this this could have caved in up here I know but you know I was a bit desperate I've been trying to get this gold for quite a few years now I have got a couple of them and they are worth quite a lot of money and like I say I will give you a bit of a cut if you can help me out here well, well of course I mean your uncle Jimmy's friend I, I will help you out but we, we've got to get you out of here, so come on, let's get up and we'll get out. You need to go to hospital. Come on. Uh, are you alright? Yep, yeah, I think so. Right, come on. Let's get you up and out. Oh, you're quite heavy, aren't you, Seth? Right. Do you think you're going to manage this? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's try it. Ah, welcome back, everybody. Just taking a bit of rest. I just had a nice coffee that I've um, boiled on the fire. Taking in the lovely autumn morning. What drama that was yesterday, stroke last night. Dear, oh dear. Pleased to say, though, that Seth is okay. He's back home. He hasn't broken his ankle. It's just a badly sprained. I picked him back up from the hospital. 
and took him home, gave him a bit of a lecture, told him he shouldn't be doing things like that. So I don't think he will be doing anything like that for quite some time anyway now because of his ankle and I think that did shake him up pretty bad. Um, I did grab that bit of gold for him though and I've got to take that down to him. The baler, after all that had finished and the ambulance had gone off, I did get to the shop before they closed because obviously they wanted to check out our baler. Um, yeah, there's a problem with it. I think it's the left phalange or something like that, they said. Um, so they're keeping hold of that. They're going to fix it for us. And they're going to let us know when it is ready. Which is good because I'd rather obviously it be working properly. We're not going to get charged for it because that's their kind of fault. They shouldn't have sold it to us like that. Um, but it does mean that we're not going to be able to do any more bailing. But what I thought we could do is pick up those bales that we've already got. It will mean we're going to have to stack them all in here. I don't know if they're all fit in there, but we might have to do a couple of trips. But we're going to take them over to Seth as well. We're going to sell them at Seth's. Um, I will call in and check on him, and I've got to give him that lump of gold i've no idea what he's gonna do with that or what his plans are but i just i don't know i don't really know him well enough to yet to um know what's going on inside his head <laughs> but he's a bit of a character really really is i just thought that was just Oh, I don't know, lost for words yesterday with it all. Um, anyway, yeah, so obviously we've still got a few strips of hay here on the floor, but we've got all these bales. Now this is going to take quite a while to load up. Um, so we'll get some chucked in there, started off. There's one just there. I'm going to try and park... I don't know, somewhere like this, so we're not in the middle of a bush. Um, I need to drop the tailgate, don't I? Um, there we go, that's done. Right, so that is dropped. Let's grab a few. We'll start up the back. Hopefully we don't miss any. It's going to be easy to miss those ones. But like I say, this is going to take some time. I think I'll just throw a few up on the back and then we'll have to get up oh, on there I try and get them stacked as neat as possible so that we can squeeze in as much as we can and we can go up a bit high we've got straps obviously which is good um, and there's some more at the back I kind of work our way through the field like that Let's see if we can get up in the back. That's better. Now, how many can we fit across the back? Oh, that's not good, is it? There we go. Hoping we can fit three across the bed. If we can, that's going to be pretty cool. Oh, they're not liking that, are they? Stop that. Dancing bells. There we go, that's better. Something like that. So we can get three across the back. That is good. Right, like I say, this is going to take quite some time. I don't think I've missed any more in the grass up the top here no so i will get quite a load done stacked up and i'll bring you back in and then we'll head on over to seth's area i'm not 100 percent sure where we've got to sell them to i'm guessing up by the train area i've seen some bells on some of the train carriages there but we'll speak to seth I want to speak to him anyway, check he's okay, find out what he's going on with the gold and that. 
I mean, to be honest with you, I don't really want to get involved in any of that because it sounds a bit iffy and dangerous to me. But anyway, I will see you, well, hopefully not too far into the day, the morning. But I'll get this done. There's one hiding there, look. That's what we need to be careful of. Right. I've got this far, but I don't think we should be putting any more on because <laughs> a little bit overloaded. I'm not even sure the front wheels are on the deck. Um, I've no idea how that's going to drive down to Seth's, but we're going to put three more on the back. But there is quite a few bells on here and there is all that remaining plus we've got a few running along that outside edge as well if you remember so there is quite a lot here i mean granted they are small bells we know that but this has taken quite some time as well as soon as we can i think we will invest in a bigger baler or maybe I don't know, maybe see if they've got a loading wagon or something like that. But obviously it's got to fit within our budget. Money is tight at the minute. I'm hoping we can get a decent amount from that. But like I say, they're not huge bells. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Here we go. I mean, this truck, are we running over something there? No, it's just struggling. Awesome. So let's try and get down to the road. I wasn't expecting it to be as overloaded as this because they're small bells. Obviously light enough for us to pick up. This is ridiculous. Well, we've committed ourselves now, so we're going to have to um, go for it, I think. It might even be a case of I'll see you over there, but <laughs> it's, we're, we're not even hitting 10 miles per hour. It's a train look. Probably just missed the delivery. But we should still get paid for these. I will see you over at Seth's because this is going to take forever like this. I'm a bit disappointed because that means we're going to have to carry even less next time. But yeah, I'll see you over there. And then we'll check out Seth, see if he's okay. And we'll see what he wants us to do with these bells. Well, I've spoke to Seth, he's okay. He's in his little cabin with his feet up resting. Um, I undid the straps on there and some of them just pinged off, fell off. I think it was the straps that were causing the main issue on there. But we have got to get the bells up onto here. Now that, again, is going to take quite some time like so by hand now, I am wondering and this could be disastrous if we could use Seth's forklift over there and maybe stab into the bells and pick some up like that and lift them up onto there he did say help yourself if you need to use anything. So, otherwise this is going to take quite a while to do that all, one at a time, separately. But we should get a decent bit of money for us. 
I might after this go up to the shop and see if they have any sort of cheap trailer I don't know if they'll have anything second hand for us because we can still hook up to the back of this maybe just put a few just maybe like two layers two or three at the most three layers on the truck and then put the rest of the bells on the trailer I'm not sure but anyway let's see how this works I'm hoping it is all going to be pretty straightforward like I say this could be absolutely disastrous so <laughs> it's going to go one way or the other what we'll try and do is now what are they stacked five high do we go for five let's go like that hmm. I'm gonna try it this might not work very well But if you don't try, you never know, do you? I mean, we could even... Oh, goodness. How many have we got there? Are we even lifting any of them? They're not even lifting, are they? That is disastrous. Hmm. Right, well. I'm going to have to do this all by hand then, guys. <laughs> so that's going to take me a while. I'll back up the truck. I'll leave that there for a minute. I will put it away properly. I'll back up the truck more closer and I'll just have to keep chucking them up there. So I'll see you in a bit. Hopefully we will get a decent amount of money like I say but yeah a big task ahead we need to think how we're going to do this moving forward because this is not working right that's all of them off now we got just under six and a half a thousand which is pretty cool um told Seth that we've chucked him on the back of there so he just said that's fine we'll wait for the train to come along they will sort that out they are fully aware of his injury so like I say we're going to head on up to the shop because that was ridiculous whoa and there comes the train look right on schedule yeah I'm gonna head on up to the shop and see if they've got I don't know anything a trailer flatbed it's a real shame because obviously we can fit quite a few into this truck but it's not really playing game right so I have been in there for quite some time. I was having a coffee and a chat in there. A couple of things. We've bought this. Um, it's only 1500 it's cost us. It's a bit of an old sort of basic thing. But it does have straps on it. So we should be able to load that up with various things. So that's pretty handy. We should be able to chuck some more logs on there as well. So that's what I'm thinking as well. Further down the line. So that's going to come in handy. Pretty cheap. I know $1,500 is quite a lot to us at the minute. But, you know, with the trouble we had earlier with the bells in the back of this. Yeah, that kind of put me off. And talking of this, one of the mechanics in there is absolutely in love with this truck and wants to buy it off of us. Now, I'm torn between the decision because of the obviously this was Uncle Jimmy's. So it does have kind of sentimental value and it's a it is a cool looking truck. I do like it. It's very 
American looking, which I like about it. But we are a little bit strapped for cash. It could help fund future projects, but that will only mean having the tractor to run around in. So I'm not sure yet. I've undecided about that. But anyway, we're going to hook up to this, head back down to the farm. I'm hoping everything will be okay with this um, trailer. See if we can see it in the mirrors, it would be more handy. I don't think we can, can we? Where is it? Somewhere there, I think. There we go. We are hooked up. Right, so yeah, like I say, we'll get the rest of those bales picked up. Uh, they're still waiting on a couple of parts for our baler, so that is out of action. That's um, a little bit disappointing, so we can't do any more baling. Oh, what else we were talking about? They do have a small, and it is a very small plow. I think they said it was just over a meter wide um, in there. It's an old plow, but it, they are willing to sell it to us for $800. So we can definitely afford that and that will allow us to create some fields. And what I was thinking is while we're waiting for the baler is maybe creating a field just a long thin one here in this area that we've cleared. Obviously you need to clear the rest of it down here. But I was thinking that will get us going, create a field like that. At the minute, I've got the mammoth task again of picking all these up, which I am not looking forward to. So again, I'm going to have to stack them all sort of nice and gently on there and strap them down. So I'm going to get this done and I will see you hopefully over Seth's. I may even bring you in when we've almost sort of finished selling them because again, I've got a chuck them up onto the carriage by hand so this is definitely not ideal but at the minute because of our money situation that is all we can do that is what we are looking at so I can't wait for the day that we do finally get a little bit more money coming in we get a little bit bigger and expand and we can start getting some sort of bigger machinery but I don't know when that's going to be. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Oh dear, this weather has taken a turn for the worst. But look at our money, guys. We've gone up quite a bit. Just got these last few to sell off. Absolutely soaked. So last one. Certainly more than what I was expecting. So very happy. But I think this is going to clear up. Hopefully it's very soon. What I'm going to do is head back to the farm. We'll drop off that trailer. We can head on up to the shop. And I think we'll take them up on their offer for that small plough. And as soon as this weather clears up, we will start ploughing out a field. Like I say, it will only be a source. Well, not a small field, but it'll be quite narrow because we're just going to do that strip where we've mowed the grass. And the annoying thing is, is all our hay that we've created is probably all sopping wet now. But can't do much about the weather that is definitely something that's out of our control and to think that um, I mean I know we had quite a few bells there but they are only small bells I think the amount of money that we have just earned off of that small sort of amount just from that strip and we've got all of that as well 
that's pretty impressive I'm quite pleased about that I'm hoping I've picked them all up we may find the odd one hiding in a bush somewhere <laughs> but we'll see those bushes should get ripped out as we plough through but that is another job that is going to take quite some time because we are going to have to start off small and cheap I need to start thinking about fixing the fence maybe that's something I could do in a minute while it's still raining so I don't know right we need the tractor obviously to head on up to the shop that's uh, another soaking I'm gonna get well I'm already wet anyway so that is what it is right I'll head on up there guys hopefully this will clear up a bit and I'll see you up there so you can see what our plow looks like I may stay inside for a bit longer and have a chat with the boys as well. So hopefully this clears up. Ah, just getting rid of some rubbish for the guys in there. They're really nice actually. I'm pleased with how friendly they've been. But as you can see, look, it stopped raining. It's cleared up a bit. So I did stay in there for a bit longer and had some more tea and biscuits probably overstayed my welcome but they are really nice and friendly but this guys is the plow they've sold us so it's very very sort of old style it's leaning over to one side i think it's a little bit top heavy that side or side heavy should i say but that is absolutely cool got one of the lads to measure it it's actually 1.3 meters wide so very small but that is what we kind of have to do and go with for now we haven't got a lot of choice and we may have been able to afford something else but it's the horsepower as well for this tractor so at the minute this is ideal for us this is up our street so there we are we are all all, all even hooked up now it's stopped raining hopefully it won't be so much of a mud bath when we start ploughing out our new field so we we'll head on down <laughs> every time i see that rock now that just reminds me of that day horrendous we'll head on down we will start ploughing out a field like I said earlier it's going to take me quite a while so I probably will just crack on with that it's probably not going to be the neatest of fields either because you know the size of the plough but we need to get some fields going something planted in that I'm not quite sure on yet I may ask Seth what his suggestions are for sort of this area this time of year um, but yeah and obviously what could make us a decent amount of money so I'll probably ask his suggestions for that as you can see it's gone a little bit dark already so I'm hoping I don't think we really need lights on yet, do we? We'll put them on anyway. I think it's just because it's behind that um, cloud over there. Right, so the good thing is, is where we have mode, obviously we've got a decent sort of boundary. We probably could push it out a little bit wider than what we are, but I'm not going to. We are going to go for it as it is. I'm gonna try and get rid of some of these bushes now the other thing is this plow is not reversible so we are going to be a little bit sort of awkward looking as we go but like i said it is what it is so let's lower that down and there we go we've already got rid of that bush so awesome and we'll kind of just sort of follow this line 
but like I say, this is going to take some time. I think this will probably be the last job of the day as well, because we are going to be definitely losing light in a second. Well, not in a second, but you know what I mean. Very soon, and the amount of time this is going to take. What I do need to be careful of is where we finished. It was back up there, wasn't it? So hopefully that is the last line, so that's good. So we'll do the outline up to sort of that last swath of hay. And we should get rid of all of these bushes that are in amongst this area. Try and get rid of these ones that are right on the edge, that's good. And we are going to get, as well, stones. Look at the size of some of them. So that is another problem for us to deal with. But whether we can sell them, I don't know. Again, I'm going to ask Seth all this information. So guys, we've got this little bit left to do. Some of the edges are a little bit scrappy, but I'm okay with that. It's not too bad. But if we jump down, just look at that. That is going to be a decent sized field. Like I said, there is quite a few stones here. So that is the next headache we've got how we're going to pick them up and obviously a new field you would ideally put lime down i don't know whether we will or not I, we'll have to look into that as well but as you can see it still is a little bit wet because so obviously the rain we had the tractor are looking absolutely filthy also let's um head on back i've got that raised up haven't i Let's head on back up to the farm because whilst I was doing that I had to stop and go and see Seth because I had a phone call from Seth. Yes, he does have a mobile. And I've had to get that gold back off of him because he wants me to go and see a guy he knows called Bill. In fact, he called him Wild Bill, which I'm not sure how to take that at the minute. It sounds a bit iffy <laughs> but Seth assures me he's okay he is kind of over well the way we're facing now he runs the BGA over there so it'd be good to go over there anyway to see what's about over that side but we're going to drop all this back down here and we'll grab the pickup just because obviously it's quicker not to worry too much about um, 
disconnecting the plough for now. We'll just turn our lights off. And like I say, we will unhook this trailer. Like so. And we're going to head on out to see this bill. Part of the reason why is because this is the chap Seth has been dealing with, with the gold. So I think Bill's been buying it off of Seth. So, um, no, straight over there I believe. I think it's this way. God, it's just as derelict over this side, isn't it? I hope some more sort of things are going to get built up at some point over here because it kind of does feel a bit well isolated quiet obviously there is a few um, places around this being one of them where we're heading now so I think I don't think that I don't know where that one goes he said he should just be wandering around in the yard somewhere. He's also supposed to be quite a handy guy to know. What is that? Whoa, look at that. That looks a bit dangerous, doesn't it? So yeah, I'm not quite sure where this guy is. There's a car over there. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe he's somewhere around here, I'm not sure. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, get, whoa, get away from me! Get away! 